Hello. I didn't mean to scare you with blood and witches and Vikings, but I did want to introduce you to an element of Out of Our Minds, which is my first 21st century concept project. And uh, it's not only because I'm proud of it being out, but specifically that, in fact, a lot of the themes that I've been exploring in this self-funded, self-financed, self-produced project of five years uh, has a lot to do with why we're all here today. And the, the themes in which I've orbited within this film and the, and the songs is the masculine and the feminine and the eternal duality that lives in all of us and the heart versus the mind and the subconscious versus the consciousness. And that's what I've been drowning in for the past few years and contemplating how we as individuals and we as a whole can coexist with those battling and harmonious forces within. So that's essentially wanted to give you a, a, um, an example of I'm so excited to be here. Thank you, Moses and Idea City. And it's an honor to be part of anything called the Rise of the Female. And uh, uh, I was asked to speak or sing and I felt I had to do both because it wouldn't represent myself properly. I didn't use my mind and my heart together in, in this brief 17 minutes. But um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, describe my out of our minds journey as perhaps a reflection of what a lot of this is about. So. As I said, I founded my, for my company, my, my own artist-run business, which is completely, uh, goes again, art and commerce is a very, very difficult struggle, but very important, again, within that balance that we all try to attain. And I, I, halfway through the making of this project, I realized that this creative survivalism, by the way, these are my handmade PowerPoints, because Idea City said, you need to give us your material quick. I'm like, I don't know how to make PowerPoints, but I have an iPhone, and there's a sunset, I could paint it really quick. But so this is my creative survivalism that kicked in while I, I've always been, uh, I've been fortunate to be in, in uh, making music in American corporate environment in the 90s when alternative music and corporations oddly had a relationship that was somewhat harmonious. And the best thing that ever happened to me as an artist was breaking those ties and becoming an independent one. And that's when the creative survivalism kicked in and I became my own manager, agent, funding it. And that is when the real work, the true creative spirit began in me. And uh, so this is what I also want to talk about. The 21st century has arrived. We have tools beyond our, everyone's imagination 10 years ago as a woman who has a mission to connect and commune and, and share with other fellow humans that struggle, that, that, that passion to connect the masculine and the feminine within us all. Uh, this technology that has been born in the past five, 10 years, I think is the ultimate, it's, it, I think combining feminine uh, intuition and technology is going to define the future. And that's been a big part of what I've been playing with in making this multimedia project where I have this feeling I wanna share that comes from my heart and comes from my gut and my soul. And I embrace the business and the technology and I embrace the, the songs and the visuals and the storytelling. And I make my own cue cards. And then, wait, I have to look at the time. Oh, I have one more minute than I thought. I'm speaking quite quickly here, but um, this is my mother and I. Um, it's a portrait that's been in my house for as long as I, I grew up with it. When I moved out of home, I left with it. And uh, it's a still from an NFB film that was made in the 70s about women. Uh, and the funny thing about my mother is without her, I would not be here. And she, as some people mentioned earlier, she is a perfect example of the first wave of feminism who paved the way for me. And she was the first female rock disc jockey in Montreal and was a journalist, put herself, well, actually she interviewed Leonard Cohen and some of the greatest minds of her generation, uh, also happened to put herself through McGill Masters program by working as a Playboy bunny at the Playboy Club in Montreal and served Hef Hefner a drink once. And she's a perfect example of the first wave that 
set the tone for someone like me to assume, of course I can be a woman in a man's world and I can not only be an artist and a businesswoman, but I'll, I'll make rock music where all I see is a landscape of men making it, but I'm gonna make it. I never believed for a moment that I couldn't and it's because of a woman like her and there's so many of her and I wanted to give a ode to my pink bonnet and her and I have one, wait, what's my, oh, and then that was inspiration and the need for women to take the mic, whether it's carpentry, whether it's songs, whether it's journalism, we all know we have a long way to go to write. I mean, the history of this world has been written and defined by men. I truly believe that the future right now, we're at this crossing point. I've been thinking about it for five years. This is a perfect example. There is a turning point coming and women have potential to define the future right now. And between our intuition and our intelligence and the fact that we do work a little harder sometimes, for better multitasking, they say, is... I mean, we have, this is the rise. This is the moment where we will help at least create balance. And this isn't a gender thing, I promise. I love men. Men are absolutely necessary, brilliant, and an amazing force, but we need to have it balanced out. And there's, there is a rise going, and I feel it within my own work. I feel it within the women around me. And it's a total honor to be here under the guise of the rise of the, this is perfect, now I'm going to. Um, sing songs. That was a very long ramble. Part of it was here and I didn't look at it once. <laughs> but um, I, um, I'm now <laughs> going to uh, play you two songs for my new project. Um, I'm going to invite a long-term collaborator, Jordan Zadorozny from uh, Pembroke, Ontario. And we're going to play you two songs. And again, thank you for allowing my mind to say a lot in five minutes. <laughs> and now I'll try ten. This is a bass guitar, and um, usually there is a very, you basically have to imagine a Viking, an invisible Viking drummer, and like some magical, witchy, other loud, distorted guitar player. This is a rare stripped down set, but it's important to be vulnerable, so I'm doing it for you. <laughs> um, and usually, at an average rock show, I would say, this one goes out to all the Canadians in the house. And most of you probably are, but I'm not often playing in Canada. <laughs> The fire deep inside, spinning 
22 below. And uh, we got one more for you. Not sure how it sounds in the classical music conservatory, but I hope you can hear it. <laughs> um, this is a title track of the five-year independent artist-run business multimedia 21st century project called Out of Our Minds. And this one goes out to all, all of you. It's an invitation to find the balance between the masculine and feminine within each of you. And we will all as a whole get a little closer to the healing and the progress that we need
uh, 25 seconds early. Thank you. Enjoy Idea City. Moses, thank you again, and everyone that put this together.